Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to my new Let's Check Out video. Uh, my first in this year actually, now that I think about it. My name is Siperos and this is Conscript. A classic pixel art survival horror game set in the trenches of World War I, inspired by old school Resident Evil and Silent Hill games, and is currently on Kickstarter. The game is being developed by a young Australian student named G.D. Moshi. I happened to be browsing video game Kickstarter projects a few days ago, discovered this, and since the developer offered a free demo, which you can download on Steam or itch.io, and since I happen to be a fan of old school Resident Evil games myself, I decided to give this one a shot and show it off to you people as well, in case you'll find this interesting. Naturally, I watched the gameplay trailer shown on the Kickstarter page and glanced through the rest of it, but as always, I want the game to speak for itself. Although, remember, the game is in alpha, so everything is subject to change. So with that, without further ado, let's check out Conscript. Skip introduction, and uh, no, let's just, let's see the introduction. June 1st, 1916. I'm gonna have to click. Dear Ma, I hope you are doing well. It has been four weeks now since we have been stationed at Verdun. It is with great relief that I can finally write back home to you. I know you have been thinking about Pierre. They sent him to the medical bunker after he was shot. I'm still stuck in this miserable support trench a few hundred meters downhill. There was no signs of infection in him, which is a miracle given the conditions we have been in. We have been fighting the Germans over the fort for weeks on end. It has swapped hands multiple times over the past months. And so if I remember correctly, the protagonist you play in this game is French. I don't see what the point is anymore. The fort and our trench have no more artillery. Our water is poisoned and supplies are low. In one week our platoon will be shifted south back to the village to resupply. It will be a relief to feel clean water on my skin once again. I will bring both of us home, Ma. Worry not. Promises made, promises kept. I will write. And here we are in the game. I'll finish this later. Oh, you mean the... Yeah, the... The leather. Okay, I'm supposed to use... Uh, WASD keys to move around. Mods are flying around the flame of the lantern. No need to be going this way. Okay. Guess we go here. Hmm. Must be our fellow French soldiers. He's not, he's, not, he's not responding. Seems to be in a daze. Ah, uh, fuck, eh? Well, okay, you try not to die. Okay, th this must be a bunker. The door won't budge. The blockhouses have been locked, but we have not been told why. A key is required. Okay. So let's look for a key then. Yeah, French, alright. Okay, and what's, over? what's in here? Ah, someone wounded. He was gassed yesterday. Oh shit, gas. Best to just leave him. There is nowhere else to put them. I can't even tell what they are. I ah, they must be corpses. What else could they be? Okay, so he was gassed. That must be terrible. Chemical warfare is a terrible thing. And what does this say? Keep your head in trench. 
during day and most of night. Yeah, that's a good advice. Can I run? Well, if I can, I don't know how. He's bleeding profusely from his stomach. It's not looking good. I really like how this game looks, by the way. I could easily imagine this being um, a game like this being released back in the PS1 days. I should speak to the commander first. Huh, okay, is it that guy over here? Commander, Private, they are back in the fort. Our last machine gun is out. The last r rounds are in the weapon storage. Run up there and bring some rounds down, now. If they get down here, we are finished. What are you waiting for? Do you want one in the back of your head? Get moving! Okay, okay, Jesus. I would go faster if the game allowed me. So, can we now go in here? Yes. Okay. The shelling has momentarily stopped. The door appears to be locked from the other side. Okay. What about here? I mean, seriously, is there no way to run? I mean, we are in a hurry. Uh, let's see, can I... Hmm, I don't know how to access the main menu right now. Spacebar, enter and esc. Don't do anything. Okay, is this the storage room or whatever? Well, there's a what looks like a spy spiked club. Equip weapons from your field bag. Always be ready for combat. Field bag. Uh, okay. Pick up raiding club. Yes. Picked up the raiding club. Anything there? No. Okay, so how do I equip it? How do I equip it? I? No. Hmm. Hmm, M. This is the map. Okay, so we are... Where are we exactly? Um, oh, we are here, I believe. Okay. Where is the inventory? I'm just trying different keys here right now. Well, maybe the game will... Maybe the game will uh, uh, tell us when the time comes. I wonder if I could break these barrels with the club. Can I open any of these? Okay, nothing there. Anything here? Someone has tried blocking the door to the fort. This won't hold them for long. It won't be long before we are raided. And it will take a miracle for us to survive another one. I just want to go home. Okay. So I guess we just leave for now. And then we just walk all the... But then again, we didn't really get anything that we needed to get, right? We don't have a quest log or anything like that. I don't think. I need to bring back some ammo from the weapon storage uh, up near the fort. There's no time to mess around. Well, okay. I just... nothing... and uh, nothing stuck out to me, so... Well, let's go back then. If only I knew how to run, though. Okay. 
go in there. And some ammo, you say. These kind of look like cannons to me. Can we just pick here or... Where is the ammo? Can I pick up a shovel? Equip weapons from your field pack. Field pack. Well, I don't see any field pack on the screen here. Is it B as in back? No. I'm pressing all the keys here. But nothing is happening. M is still the map. Mm. How can I get the main menu? Ah, oh, it's tab. Okay. So, equip that. Sure. And what else? We got a map. Files. Okay, no. Files. Options. Okay. Uh, let's check the options real, real, real quick. Control type. Controller. Keyboard only. I was wondering if there was an option to run. A few controls. I'm so dumb. Although this is for controller, apparently. Uh, la let's... Keyboard only. In game. Ah, oh, there we go. <laughs> I, I, I was afraid that it froze for a moment there. Oh, wait. GP plus mouse. Ah, oh, that, that's what we want. I was wondering, what the hell does key, key bay mean? But yeah, it means keyboard. Of course it does. Of course it does. Yeah, we want, we want to go with that. There we go, and a few controls. Okay, so, uh, run is shift. Okay. Okay, let's move on. So, shift is... Run, okay. That's much that's much better, isn't it? Ah, oh, but we still need the damn ammo. We still need the ammo, don't we? Well, where is the ammo? Oh, and I can of course yeah, I can destroy this. There we go. Pick up ammo. Picked, picked up LMG ammo. Hmm? It's the damn Germans, they're coming. Oh my god. This does not look good at all. This must be the same gas. Oh shit. Take, take the goddamn. Die! Jeez! There. Uh, what's my health? Can I see my health anywhere? I don't think that going to the gas here like this is a good idea, but we're gonna do it anyway. And then suffer the consequences. Hmm, okay. So that was all a dream, I take it. Somebody must have tracked me in here. Ah, oh, never mind, it wasn't a dream. Okay, make sure that it's equipped. There we go. Okay, what's that? Pick up first aid kit. Yes, sounds like a good idea. Now, the question is, is everyone dead? There were some soldiers here earlier. The door would... But certain doors have been locked to the trench raids. A key is required. Okay. This is where we started the game from. Uh, what's this? Field Operations Manual. 
various items can be used from the inventory. Weapons can be assigned to the four quick select buttons. Certain items can be combined to create medicines, ammunition and tools for the field. If space is limited, consumable items and ammo can be discarded. Think careful before doing so. Attention should always be paid to space in your field pack, just like in Resident Evil. Only take what is necessary for survival. Always be vigilant. The enemy can strike from anywhere. Stick to assigned trenches and only advance when ordered by the company commander. We want to bring you home to your family safely. You lock field manual into your notes. Okay. Now. Oh, is that a gun? Pick up pistol. Yes, now we are talking. Now we are talking. And we got... And we got 10 bullets in there. Can we... Uh, equip this to the second slot? Or how does this work? Assign. Assign weapon to what quick select button? Hmm. Let's put it to 1. Okay. This shall be... 2. We are gonna equip this. Hmm. Oh, and it says here... Uh, status well, so I assume that we are well doing just fine, that we are not dying any anytime soon. What's this? Some oil. It's completely empty. Okay. Pick up lead uh, matches. Uh, sure. For some dark places, I would imagine. And that that cloud looks very unhealthy. Is anything on the table? Just some dirty plates. I wouldn't have been so trusting leaving them here like this. Another note. Pick up gunpowder. Aha. Uh -huh. Inventory is full. Ah oh, shit. Aha, uh -huh, so we can only carry at the moment four items. Maybe we can carry some more once we get a bigger backpack or something. Okay, but hey, at least we know that that's it. there's gunpowder here. And you can make some ammo for yourself, just like in Resident Evil 3. 26th of May, 1916. The Germans have been relentless in their push for the fort. The bombardment has not ceased day and night, and our trench lines are beginning to become unrecognizable. Emil was sent out to draw a map of our trench lines. He didn't want to do it, but he didn't have a choice. Despite that, he makes for a good cartographer. 1st of June, 1916. Our supplies are just about out. There is nothing left, and if the Germans recapture the fort, there is no chance we can retake it in this state. The tunnel we spent weeks digging has collapsed, and our dynamite supplies came in faulty and wet. If we had usable explosives, clearing the rubble down there could be possible, but they say all the supply lines have been shelled. Apparently this leaves us with two options. Either we dig another one, or we try and recapture the fort by foot. Both are probably a death sentence for us. Yeah, it sure sounds like it. You locked unknown memo into your notes. Okay. Looks like a workshop. Out of order rifles, they don't work. Well, just wonderful. That's great. Just some old tattered uniforms. Okay, hmm? Was there something else? I thought I could pick this one up. I, I thought I could pick this thing up, whatever that is. I, th I, thought, I thought it was a bigger backpack for a moment. That would have been very handy right about now. The door appears to be locked from the other side. Okay. And what about here? The door won't budge. A key is required. And let's take a risk and... Oh my god. Shit, I'm gonna die.
<laughs> it, it, he didn't die? Or did we just die to the gas? Game over. I guess we just died to the gas. No, of course the game didn't save. Actually, I don't even think... Well, there is a load game option here, so I guess you could save. At somehow. But anyway, uh, let's continue a little more. But naturally, I'm have to do all that shit again, so be right back. And we are back here. Good thing the game offered the option to uh, skip the intro. Did we check here? No. Looks like an ammo pack of some sort. Pick up rifle rounds. Only two bullets, will not. Yeah, they're still there. I was just wondering. Okay, so we don't even have a rifle, so no point to pick it up. And we also now picked up the gunpowder. What was the fourth item that we had? Because we couldn't pick this one up earlier. Powdered lead. Mix with more lead to create mixed gunpowder. Or add to chemical fluid to craft pistol ammo. Okay. Sorry, I'm still getting used to that controls here. Okay, we couldn't get in there. Okay. Okay, let's not go uh, over there. I think that I think that we need a gas mask. Should have been obvious, but I decided to take the risk anyway. Hmm, that's a big chest. Must mean a lot of loot. Ah, it's a uh, storage, just like in Resident Evil games. We got an item box here. Nice. Well, I guess we can move this here, once I figure out how. There. Okay, my eyes just click it. Simple enough. Oh. Okay. That's nice. We got an item box here, in this game. The door appears to be locked from the other side. Okay. Oh yeah, it was the matches that we... that I picked up first. Okay, well, uh... Let's move them in here as well. Let's have uh, let's have at least one empty item slot um, uh, until we find a big, bigger backpack. Assume that there is one. Okay, let's go outside. Alright, we couldn't open that. We came from here, didn't we? I hear some breathing. Die! How many bullets do you take? Jesus. Uh, we got five. And how is my health? It's okay. Nothing here. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so no more enemies by the looks of it. Oh, poor horse. And in here. So eerie. It's a large bag. It is a little bigger than your current one. Take it. Well, of freaking course we're gonna take it. Inventory space increased. Nice. What do we have here? Pick up fabric. Most likely used for bandages and stuff. A dimly lit lead lamp. If you had, if you had a lead uh, coded match, you could uh, record your progress. Ah, so that's how you save the game. So the matches are the. Matches are the ink ribbons of this game. Okay. Nice. You, you, you sustain the dying flame. The blue light gives you just one moment to relax and reflect on what has happened. Progress recorded. Nice. Okay. Let's move this back in there. And we got four more slots. Nice. Oh, I don't want to. Didn't want to pick that one up. Just back. 
Very nice. This is so much like Resident Evil when it comes to the uh, certain mechanics, like how you save the game, the item box, and so on and so forth. And now... Mm, let's equip this now, so I can... Because m maybe there's something in the barrels, and yes, indeed there was. Pistol rounds, okay, nice. So, do I just reload? Ro reload it by adding... Combine? What do you mean, cannot combine? Okay, so, uh... Combine with pistol, no? Oh. Uh, how about use? Cannot use this. Uh, how about I start with the gun? No, I cannot. I cannot combine the gun. Hmm, strange. I don't know how to. I don't know how to reload my gun from the inventory screen. Uh, screen. <coughs> Excuse me. Hmm, a chest. It means fat loot. Oh, there's a... Needs a... Right code number. I like how you can move around the screen like this. Okay. Well, we don't know the right combination for that yet. More pistol rounds, nice. Hmm. Hmm, I think they keep the messenger birds here. Killing or wounding of uh, homing pigeons is punishable by six months imprisonment or large fine. Remind we remind you that homing pigeons are doing valuable work for the government and war effort. Yeah, okay. What do we have here? Emergency. They have the fort again and are dropping heavy artillery on support trenches. There are many wounded and we cannot evacuate. We are suffering. Send help for heaven's sake. Okay. Ah, oh, there's a pigeon. Looks uh, pretty pretty scary, if you ask me. There's only one homing pigeon left here, but the cage has been locked. I need to send for help. Okay. None are alive in this one. So, does this, does this need a key? I guess we do need a key. Okay. And then up here. Take us outside, okay. And we are back here, okay. Oh, go down. I guess coming here was pointless. Oh, this one has been pushed away. Anything here? Mm -hmm, looks like a code. Uh, what is that? Uh, five, three, five, two, four. Uh, should I write that? Yeah, you know what? I'm I'm gonna write write that down real quick. So five. Three, five, two, and four. Okay. Oh, what the? Did someone shoot me, or what's that? A large roll of barbed wire. You couldn't get through it. You couldn't get through it even if you tried. It could be destroyed with wire cutter. Ah, okay. What's our health situation? It's still okay. Okay, so now we need a wire cutter as well. I was thinking about 
playing this game for for uh, uh, for as long as the demo allows us to till the very end. But I don't, but I don't know if I if I'm gonna do that after all because it seems to be longer than I expected. And besides, you do, you get the idea what what the game is about. Did I try this door yet? The door appears to be locked from the other side. Okay. Okay, so we need a wire cutter. Um, what's this? Completely broken now. And what is completely broken? Is that a machine gun? Okay, where else can we go? There was nothing there, I believe. here. Now we woke up from here. And we still need a gas mask. If we want to walk through the, uh, the, the rooms and corridors with all the gas. Let's destroy some of these barrels. Might as well. Lots of pistol rounds now. Was there something else? No. If only I just knew how to reload my damn gun. Well, maybe he reloads it when he runs out. So, no, I. So. Not go in there. Not go in there. It's not a good idea at this point. Yeah, uh, oh yeah, they had that, I think they, I think they had rif rifle ammo here. I have to pick it up. There we go, I mean, might as well. Hmm? I was thinking that all these bandages or, well, like, they could be toilet paper rolls for all I know. Item box. Some oil, although it's completely empty. Did we open this? No, okay. So far we have killed only one German soldier. Well, I guess we killed two. I guess we killed uh, two before we... Before the gas knocked us out and then someone tracked us in here. What have I missed? There was nothing here, right? No. Absolutely nothing. Fricate crate is empty. We have been out of supplies for three weeks now. After this, I never want to touch a shovel again. Oh, I bet. Hmm? What's over here? Uh, pick up fabric. No, oh, okay. And this is... oh yeah, we need a... Well, we had this one number combination here, but there was five numbers. Well, let's try. Five, three, and... Five. Can we now try and open this somehow? Well, I guess... I guess it, it would have clicked if it was the right combination. There was five, three, five, and then two, four. Five, three, five. Unless I wrote the numbers wrong. Either this should be it, or the two other numbers, but we need a third more. 
Uh, now let's try two, three, four. Well, nothing is hap happening. I assume that the I, I assume that this lock would unlock itself once we get the right combination. Like I don't need to click uh, click anything or anything like that. That's just my uh, that's just my assumption. Where did this go again? Oh yeah, the pigeon room. Uh, and I can't do anything to this lock. What's glowing there? I can't even try to unlock... Unlock this lock here. Oh, another first aid kit. Nice. Okay, uh, well, even though the idea is obviously terrible, let's go in there and just keep it safe. Uh, hit it, hit it. Like that. Yeah, the gas will kill us. The gas will kill us. Well, shit. Well, no matter. I think I'm going to stop playing here anyway. I think you got the idea what the game is like and how it plays and what's the idea. Very interesting game. Gave me strong Resident Evil vibes with the item box and the way how you save the game. So if you liked what you saw, you can go and back it now on Kickstarter. At the time of this recording, there's 21 days left on the Kickstarter campaign. Maybe 20 days by the time I get this uploaded on YouTube. I think I'm going to back this myself, at least just enough to get a Steam key myself. And the smallest amount that you need to pledge in order to get a Steam key and some other goodies like a wallpaper pack. And I believe that your name will also be shown in the credits. The smallest amount to get the game uh, on Steam is 18 Australian dollars, which I believe is about 13 US dollars. So not that much. So if you are a Resident Evil or Silent Hill fan and this game intrigues you, I highly recommend that you go and back this project as well. The link to the Kickstarter page can be found down below in the description. And if you want to play the demo yourself, I'll also provide the link to the Steam page as well where you can download it for free. And as for when this game is supposed to come out, well there is no release dates or release windows or anything like that, but it's estimated at some point in 2021, so not even this year, so don't expect this game to come out anytime soon. But yeah, that was Conscript. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.